This is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series. And I want to tell you that the GED 2014 math test is all the rage. And the rage is all about algebra. Everybody is going nuts about algebra. Everybody is thinking about it. I didn't do it in high school. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. He's just freaking out about algebra. And I am here to tell you that yes, there is algebra on the test. It is all over the test. It is on the test. But it is not the only thing that is on the test. So I'm sorry, I'm just being a little bit dramatic here just to get your attention. But there are other types of questions on the test. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, it says a painter rented a wallpaper steamer at 9 a.m. and returned it at 4 p.m. He paid a total of $28.84. What was the rental cost per hour? So remember, I have that two-step method, which I uh, advise everybody to do, which the first step is to identify the question. Oh, let me get my correct tool here and the thing I want to emphasize is what I'm doing here is this is actually from the actual GD testing service this is actually what they give you to prepare for to take the test okay so this is not just one of my questions that I present but this is actually one of the GD testing services math questions that you have to prepare so even though there is tons of algebra on the test the test is 55 percent algebra that is you make a mistake by only preparing for that you have to be prepared for everything so now here we go um, so we're going to identify the question we want to know the rental cost per hour and I'm just going to use that sign to mean per hour so that's what we're looking for now then the second step is state your path with the information given how do we get back to this question of rental per hour so one thing we know is that he paid 28 84 per hour the other thing we know is that uh, the amount of hours he did so 9 a.m. to noon is three hours and noon to four is four hours so three plus four is seven so seven hours so this is a ba pretty basic problem now because we know that he paid twenty eight dollars and eighty four cents and we know he used it for seven hours so we would just simply divide twenty eight dollars and eighty four cents by seven hours and that will give us four dollars in 12 cents per hour which also gives us our answer which is here C um, of how much was the rental cost per hour so again the algebra is all the rage yes is on the test yes is 55 percent of the test but in this case it is only 55 percent and there are other things you got to be worried about um, one of my favorite practice questions is this one because every student I show this problem to, they all get caught. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our first step, which is identify the question. And so the question here is the total earnings. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say total earn and abbreviate that. And then we're going to do state your path. So again, this is my two-step method. This is what you got to do every time. And this is what I teach you how to do in the Get Your GD Now test preparation series. So the first thing we're going to identify is that he makes $285 a week. That's the first piece of information that we are given here. And then the second piece of information that we get is that he has an 8% commission rate. So his commission is 8%, and I'm just going to convert that to a decimal. Okay. And then the third piece of information we get is that we know his sales for that week were 4,200. 
and thirteen dollars so he gets eight percent of that and what a lot of people are going to do is that they're going to say oh I get it that's the one of those percent problems where you multiply point zero eight and you multiply that by four thousand two hundred and thirteen excuse my two there and excuse my three there and they think they have it because with that you get your answer which is three hundred and thirty seven dollars and four cents if, when and if you do the math correctly excuse my four there okay and then you're in the test you're under pressure and you choose that one but again this is why it is to state your path because when you identify the question we know that we are looking for the total amount earned so because we're looking for the total amount earned then what that does it puts us in a position to know that yeah well that's his commission but there was one other piece of information this one that he just gets two hundred eighty five dollars a week just for being a good salesman and, and coming to work so he's going to add that because we're looking for his total pay two hundred eighty five dollars and then that's going to give us six hundred excuse my two there that's going to give us six hundred Okay, excuse me for that. I had to jump over to a different screen um, because I accidentally erased everything I was just showing you there. So anyway, so 8% gives us 337, but the thing that we have to remember, the thing that is so important to remember is our little ding, ding, ding is at 285. So that $285 has to be added in to that, which then gives us... Let me just grab another color here for emphasis. Six hundred and twenty-two dollars and zero four cents or four cents. Now, why is that so important? Because here we could easily make the mistake of choosing three hundred and thirty seven dollars because after all that's what we found first and sometimes when we're on the test and we're under a little bit pressure we just jump at the first thing that we see but again it is so important not to do this and almost every student I work with they make this mistake and so what I want to tell you is that identifying your question and stating your path again these are some of the keys that I give you and to get your GED now test preparation series I help you to be fluent in the GED test okay and so when you take that 337 and you add that 285 and four cents you get 622 which is also an answer here and which is also the correct answer if you go to answer explanation it'll show you that because it shows you that you calculated Dominic's commission using the amount of sales and added the result to his weekly salary so that is the case now if you take A, 37, it then explains to you, if you select this response, you only found the amount of Dominic's commission and did not add it to his weekly salary. Well, this is what happens when you're on this test, that pressure gets going. But again, I prepare you in such a way so that when you get to this test, you're actually ready for it and you can go ahead and knock it out. Again, this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now test preparation series. And as much as I hate to do this, I got to say... Go Giants. The Giants have just beat the Washington Nationals, who everybody said was a better team. And uh, it's great to see my Bay Area baseball team, uh, the San Francisco Giants, move on to the National League Championship Series to face St. Louis. Go Giants and go every single student who is out there working to be successful on their GED test. I want to help you. I want to connect with you. You have my email. You have my YouTube account. You have my website. Connect with me so we can help you get this done.